Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Welcome back to Daryl Week. That's right, doing Daryl tricks all week long. Doing tricks created by Daryl. Daryl Easton, if you don't know, uh, is a creator of just a wealth of magic tricks. The Hot Shot Cut, Ultimate Ambition, uh, Fiedler's Flyer, Cross Thought, just to name a few, right? I grew up with Daryl uh, buying his tricks, going to his uh, daryl.net, Fuller Dealer's website and purchasing stuff. Uh, as far back as mid nineties, right? So Daryl's Daryl's been around in my life for a really long time. Really pleased with Murphy's Magic, bringing back some of his classic effects for everyone to enjoy. And so, uh, you know, anytime I can help out uh, Daryl and Daryl's family, I'd love to. And so I wanna bring as much attention to uh, these products as I possibly can. So we're devoting the entire week to Daryl, both here on the Mothership channel and over in the community tab as well. So while you're here, before you forget, make sure you hit like, subscribe, notify. Uh, is there anything else? I think that's it, right? Just do the YouTube thing, do the YouTube thing. Ultra Monty is what we're looking at today, Ultra Monty. Uh, this originally came out in 2003, 2003. And if you're thinking, all right, what's Ultra Monty? Well, it's three card money, right? It's three card money, it's follow the ace. Uh, and But with this one, all three cards are an ace. All three cards are an ace. You have two red aces, the diamond and the heart, and then you have the large uh, ace of spades, and that's the one you're trying to get your spectator to follow. And every time you place it down, or every time you put it in a certain spot, of course, the spectator's wrong, and it's really someplace else. So a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the black mat envelope? Uh, all of these tricks come in a nice, hard, thick, shelled black mat envelope with uh, silver foil ink and on the inside you're getting the original gaffs. So here you're getting uh, all three cards. You're getting the original written instructions and you get a link to brand new instructions from Murphy's Magic and the video is 19 minutes long. All right, so is it what I thought and how accurate is the ad copy? Uh, is it what I thought? I didn't know what to think because I was already familiar with Michael Skinner's ultimate three card money and I have that, right? I've had and you pretty much get it every single time you buy a gaff deck. If you buy a gaff deck, chances are they've given you the cards for ultimate three card money, right? They, they just, they're in every gaff deck now, it seems. So I was already familiar with that, but I didn't know Daryl's version. Suffice it to say, they're the same. They're the, exactly the same. So in Michael Skinner's version, you have, I believe, a two and a three, right? You have an ace, a two, and a three, and you're following the ace. In Daryl's version, you just have three aces. That's really the only difference. So how are the angles? Uh, if you've done ultimate three card money with Michael Skinner, then you know the angles are you flashing the wrong indice because you either forgot your orientation or you picked it up from the wrong corner, <laughs> right? And us left-handed people, we pick up cards from the wrong corner. But what's really cool is Mark Lavelle is your teacher in this and Mark is gonna give you a little hint a little clue, a little indicator to help you always pick up the right corner so that when you do this trick, you don't make that flashing mistake. Can the cards be inspected? No, they cannot, because what do we say around here, kids? You don't let people inspect your gaff cards, right? That's silly, that's mind boggling. Um, I've heard some people put their cards away in a Himber wallet. So they actually use a Himber wallet to carry three card money. That's a great idea, really, it's a great idea because then you put them away really fast and you try to go on and people say, yeah, let me see those cards. I'm like, really, you wanna see these cards? And you kind of make a big deal about it. And you're like, all right. And you open the Himber wallet and you remove three normal cards. So little idea from me and the magic community to you. 
All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? What do they teach you? Uh, like I said, it's Mark Lavelle, and all these videos for the Daryl Legacy line are very similar. I even think that uh, Mark Lavelle is wearing the same clothes in all of them. He's gonna talk about what you get in the envelope. There is a studio performance. You'll then see Daryl's original performance and Daryl's original explanation. Um, in this, Daryl is gonna talk to you about using the heart in the Ace of Hearts as a pointer for your orientation, which is a great idea, and you really don't get that with the Skinner version. Um, Mark Lavelle comes back and he gives you some alternate handlings, which is nice. And he gives you a very original kicker where all three cards become the same card. And then the money card is in your pocket. And then he closes with some thank yous. Is it well made? It's United States Playing Card Company cards, right? All these legacy line tricks, they're all red rider backs. They're all red rider backs. Well, except for red prediction. That's the only one, but the rest, all red rider backs. Pocket space, I think we already covered that, right? You could carry this in a uh, Himber wallet and it would work great. Otherwise, it's just three cards, right? Three cards, they could be, uh, you could even replace the three aces in your own deck with these three cards, right? And just use these three. And when you go to do the trick, you just remove the three aces. No one's ever gonna see the gaff part of this in any other trick, right? They'd be perfectly safe, just stored away in your deck of cards. How much practice does this require? Uh, it's really just two stages, right? There's one stage where you fool them, and then you say, let's try it again, and then you fool them again. And the stage, second stage isn't that much different than the first, it's just a little bit different. So it's just remembering how the trick goes. And I think you could really just watch a routine. I mean, you could even watch Michael Skinner and do his routine. You could watch Bill Malone uh, do his routine. Bill Malone, I think has, uh, I think it's on On The Loose 3, I think. Uh, you can watch his routine. So, and you could just Google, right, uh, or YouTube, Ultimate Three Card Monty or Michael Skinner's Monty, and you'll see some other people do routines. So just watch a routine, find one you like. The cards work for any routine you wanna do, so yeah. Set up and reset, it's three cards, right? You can't, you can't mess this up. All right, positives, what are the positives? Ultra Monty is a must in any close-up presentation. The effect is amazingly baffling and with these props, you will appear to have incredible skills. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, every time I do a review, I'm always gonna give you the good and the not so good, things I liked, things I didn't like as much. I want you to spend your money wisely. Listen to reviews. There's other reviews out there, right? Go watch more than one review. Don't just take my word for it. Go read blogs, go read the forums, right? You should spend your money well and buy tricks you will perform. Uh, the bad for this is, it's exactly like Ultimate Three Card Money from Michael Skinner. There's nothing new here. So if you already own that, or you have a gaff deck that has those two extra cards, I mean, you've got it. And so do you need one over the other? I don't know. I mean, I was reading some forums and there are, there are magicians that prefer Ultra Money just because they like the effect of having two red aces and a black ace. They like that part. Uh, there's other people that don't like Ultra Monty because the money card is a giant spade pip in the center. And when you fan cards, you gotta remember to fan them so that you don't see that giant pip the second time, right? You're trying to show the gaff side of another card, but you gotta be careful that you don't spread too far and show that massive ace of spades pip in the center. So there's that. But is it worth your money? It's 10 bucks. It's $10. It's a nice alternative to the three card money plot. It goes to support Daryl. So of course, it's totally worth your money. Who would like this? Fans of Daryl, fans of three card money, fans of gaff tricks, fans of packet tricks. would totally love this. All right, that's everything I can say about Ultra Monty from Daryl, this new legacy line release from Murphy's Magic. I, of course, wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it at your favorite local Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. One more thing, Daryl Easton died on February 24th, 2017, and he was 61 years old. Daryl suffered from depression. I want you to know that if you feel sad or that if you suffer from depression or you have thoughts that maybe you realize uh, might be better expressed if you had someone to talk to, I would suggest that you call Your Life, Your Voice, and they're at 1-800-448-3000. Or you can text the word voice to 20121.
And you can also download the My Life, My Voice mobile app. It's a mood journal that you can keep right on your phone. It's gonna track what you're feeling with tons of different emojis, and you'll get tips on how to identify the triggers and deal with those stressful situations. Please be healthy. Please find help if this is something that you feel that you suffer from. Daryl was a fantastic magician, and many of us feel the loss of his absence. I know there are people in your life that love you and would want you to do whatever it takes to be with us forever.